Hi guys, welcome back to Eat Your Kappa with me Nambi. We Garos are also known as Archers. We are the hill people which is why I am on top of a hill. <laughs> and our villages are always situated in the vicinity of rivers. And our favorite pastime is to fish. We love to catch fishes and when we catch a lot of fishes, we like to cure them. We ferment them, smoke them or dry them. Which is why most of our dishes mainly features dry fish. And today, we are going to cook another dry fish dish with red beans. The ingredients required for today's dish are 1 cup of red beans that I have soaked in water overnight, 10 to 15 pieces of dried fish, half a teaspoon of cooking soda, 3 to 4 chilies, and salt for seasoning. Garo cooking is very simple. All you need to do is add all of the ingredients into the pot, add a little water, don't forget your salt and soda and bring it to a boil. Beans, dried fish, chilies, cooking soda and salt for seasoning. Cover it with a lid and let it cook. Okay, so the beans that I'm using have just been harvested few days ago. So it won't take time to cook. It will cook in a jiffy. Um, in case you're using beans that have been stored, uh, make sure that you pressure cook for pressure cook or pre-cook the beans. Otherwise, the dish will take really long to cook. Okay, this main guy here is our redneck Joe. <laughs> Alright, this needs more cooking. This dish will take at least 20 to 30 minutes to cook and don't worry if your fish disintegrates or breaks into pieces because it all adds to the flavor. The beans are soft, the water has reduced and voila, your dish is ready. You can serve it with hot steamed rice as usual. Thank you so much for watching Eat Your Kappa with me Nambi and I'll see you in the next video with more recipes. So that's how you make your red beans and dried fish curry. If you have any doubts or queries, please feel free to comment below. And please do subscribe and come and discover more amazing recipes from the Northeast with me, Nambi.